Do you think black women are out of order? I don't think that black women are out of order. I do think that some women in general may have problems with being submissive to a man, but I think those are men who have problems with being leaders. So they're not really the ideal leader that a woman will want to be submissive to. Okay. So I think that everyone, every woman wants to be submissive, but we want to be submissive to someone who we feel comfortable with someone who we feel like will lead us in the right direction and not into a tree do you think a man and a woman are equal in a relationship or should be equal mm. so i would personally i would say it depends on the type of relationship What's going on guys? You already know it's still your boy M to the A to the C to the K A Y vibes. I'm back again with another video. Today we're gonna to be doing a Kevin Samuels reaction video. I'm sure some of y'all know who Kevin Samuels is. He gives relationship advice. Some people call in on his live shows and he gives them advice on you know um, basically most of the time relationship today we're going to be focusing on one video he did where he asked this question do you think black women are out of order that's going to be the question of the day leave your opinions leave your comments in the comment section let's have an interactive session do you think some black women find it very difficult to be submissive to men especially black men enjoy the video so the first question of the day is do you think a man and a woman are equal in a relationship or should be equal mm. okay okay first of all before you answer the question you, you know this guy called kevin samuels i've heard yes have you seen any of his videos no i haven't okay so basically no. what he does most of the time especially like in recent times right yes. so ladies calling on his live on his instagram live or live shows mm -hmm. to ask for advice maybe relationship advice questions like that on how they can get a man and all this stuff but it's really like stern with his answers okay. so he will let you know what you're supposed to do and he will he will tell you directly so let's say for example if it feels like a woman is acting masculine he will let you know you're acting masculine and you try to maybe take that away or reduce it completely so you can get a man so basically right in one of his videos yes. he they they had this discussion about whether a man and a woman should be equal okay. in a relationship and what are you talking about so i would personally i would say it depends on the type of relationship um and i do feel that um you need some balance in relationships but as a man you want to give your man um some type of but as you can tell i'm a dominant Okay, so of, yeah you, i'm you, super dominant so okay, okay. but i do know that sometimes that's well it's not always the best thing to be okay. and um i feel it, it's really the the, the relationship it because some relationships if you're carrying all of the weight you can't like okay so what i mean you know like, if a woman I mean, is carrying the weight right not saying that the man can't be you know but so what i mean equal i mean in the sense that one has to be dominant over the over the like one has to lead like um is it the man has to be in in the leading position do you agree with that in every relationship though when i'm talking about when i mean leading i'm talking about a real man that has oh, a job yeah. yes, and everything yes goes yes down. yes i would say he can lead the relationship and to an extent to an extent, to an extent. and why to an extent um because i feel like with two individuals in a relationship you should be mutual in the sense of understanding towards one another and you should share your ideas and um everybody should have a say so you know okay. so you can lead to an extent like hey honey this is you know this is my idea what do you think sure babe let's go with it you know we go from there but as far as you dominating the entire relationship and when i mean okay I'm i know where I'm, you're going i guess yeah. that you can say i'm very I, I'm not saying like dominant in a way where you always have to say everything and she has to like just follow without mm -hmm. questioning. That's not what I mean. Mm -hmm. I mean in the sense that okay, w okay. Let me ask, let me put this question to you. Would you want to be in a relationship with a man who is who can lead, who yes. is dominant, yes, who can protect you? Yes, of course, right? of course. So if it's the other way around, let's say you're the dominant one, you're you're the one 
in the shoes as a man you're the one acting masculine yeah. and he's acting in a feminine way oh no, no how no, would you no. feel no i wouldn't want that you wouldn't want i wouldn't that, want right? that no okay. no 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 so why is it that some ladies actually think that um i would like for it why is it that some ladies think that they are equal to men you think women well, are equal you to see men? the way that you just asked a question right and right. how i was like hold on it depends so i guess especially in this day this age women are a lot more vocal women are a lot more financially stable women are a lot more career oriented just so many different things so it's hard for you to say hey this man's going to control me and that's the way it comes across although that's not what you're saying you know so like I said, it just depends on the individual, but I would not want a man that wouldn't be masculine with that me in the household. I would prefer exactly. a masculine man, yes, personally. But like I said, depending on the way you present the question, okay, you know, <laughs> that's why I was giving you a little like, hey, wait, I wouldn't want him to dominate me. But at the same token, I would allow him to lead. Okay, so, so why be with a man who is not even... Who can? Who, do, who doesn't have the, the the ability to lead? Why why do women be with this type of man in the first place? Um, I think that just comes with uh, insecurities. I feel like sometimes we lower our standards, or we don't even know our value or our worth. So we allow things that we know okay, we don't so want. I, I get what you're trying. So I'm trying to understand something, right? You just said something that women. The reason why some are not submissive is because of the type of men they're with. Because they're not, they're not worth it for them to be submissive to them, right? Mm -hmm. But what I'm trying to say is, why be with that type of person in the first place? Where you know that, first of all, is not the type of man that you feel like you can be submissive to. It's not someone that can lead. Just like you said, it's not like masculine enough to protect you. So why put yourself in arms way in the first place? That's what I'm trying to say. When you can be with a real man and be submissive and have your your role as the woman in the household i think that because women are naturally nurturers we want to see like the good in people so we we see the potential that men have which is not okay like okay. ladies never look at the potential <laughs> never look at the potential because if a man wants you he wants you if he don't he don't so what but, do you mean never look at the potential what do you mean by that um, because you i feel like a man is going to show you if they want you in the beginning. Um, I feel like, because men are natural pursuers, okay. all right? So within the first couple of months, I feel like a man knows if he wants you or not. And if he's not pursuing you to that level that you want to be pursued, I feel like it's probably not going to get that way. But like I said, sometimes in places of insecurities, um, we accept things that we shouldn't accept. Okay. So, have you, I'm not trying to get to person, but have you been in that type of situation before where you were in a relationship with someone and you felt like you don't have to be submissive to the person? Um, yeah, I mean, I've been in toxic relationships, but... Okay, and why did you think you weren't supposed to be submissive, though? I, it's not necessary that I didn't think I was supposed to be submissive. Okay. I wouldn't say that. Okay, well, what was the problem? Because we're, what we're trying to get here is, like, the problem is we believe that black women don't have that patience enough to listen and be submissive to a no, real man. I, no, I think I think or black feel like women equal. have that. I just feel like, like I said, there's not the men out here aren't being leaders. So I I have a question for you. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, you can ask me. <laughs> why? Why do you not think that there's a problem with our, our men out here and how they treat black women? And I mean, you know, the way I'm going to answer that question is it depends on the type of man that you're trying to associate yourself with, because not all men are the same, right? And mm. what I tell women is before you get into like a serious relationship with a man, you have to observe like studies. Do, a, do like a case study. I would say do some research. And know the type of person you're, you're trying to get into the relationship with. Right, you know the, what I mean? Yeah, so so if you... Because... Okay, think about it this way. Some black women... What, the reason why I keep focusing on black women is because... Because... It happens a lot in the black community. Yeah. 
So black what women I'm trying are to say strong is, women. Yeah, they're strong. Don't so get me wrong. I'm just trying to say. Why are you all intimidated by strong women? No, no, we're not. No, 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 no. This is the thing, right? This, <laughs> see, this, this, this is the problem right there. We're not intimidated by them. Mm-hmm. We're just trying to say because most men, and this is how it's supposed to be, though. The universe believes that a man should lead, should be the leader in every relationship. When I mean a man, a real man that knows what he's doing, yeah. should lead. But I'm saying some women don't agree with that completely. So they feel like they're equal to a man in a relationship. Or they feel like they can't even lead themselves. But no. that's not how it's supposed to be. That's no, what I'm no, trying definitely. to say. Definitely. Like, um, so I am a Christian. Okay. So I, um, in my religion, Christianity, um, Eve was made from Adam. <laughs> so men are supposed to be leaders. Exactly. <laughs> men are supposed to be leaders. So, I mean, definitely. But, I mean... Some men don't have that leading quality, which women yeah, but, want. But you shouldn't too. get into a relationship with a man like that in the first place. Yeah, you're right. But why do women do it? So it's like, the question is like, women like to be victims all the time. They want to act like victims all the time when part of the problem is coming from their, from their part. Like basically, they are part of the problem. Or you don't believe that. Okay, if, let, me, let, me, let, me, wait, let me give you an example, right? You see a man that doesn't have a job. That maybe it might be he might be handsome looking, you know, it look good, it looks good, but he doesn't have a job, it's it sleeps on the couch all the time. Basically he doesn't have anything going for himself. And you get into a relationship with that type of person, right? Whose fault yeah, I'm just saying hypothetically speaking. <laughs> some women do it. You would agree with that. Yes, yeah, some women do. So if do you get that. into that type of relationship and it treats you like like shit, who's whose fault is it? Who, who's to be who's to be blamed in that situation? They both are. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be honest? Why? Why? Why do you say the book? The book. She doesn't deserve to be treat treated bad just but, because. But why did you? Not, why did you get into the relationship in the first? I'm place? not sure because I wouldn't do it. But like I said, some people come from places of insecurity, so they feel like that that's the best they could get. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay. But not like control your not entire control, life. Absolutely like not. Yeah, okay. See, so I that's, like some yeah. Some ladies, I can even mistake, like, uh, a man being in control. Because I feel as though there's, there's a difference between a man being in control and a man being controlling. Exactly. You know there is a say? difference. There's a you big difference. And that's, that's where you have to separate it. There's a big difference. Like, so, I don't want to be controlled, but I don't mind you guiding our guiding way. the way I'm yes. leading. God and bless leading. You. Exactly. Yes. You are, are the you? Bible does say that. Okay. You okay. know, so I will say that. But you're not going to control me, me in the sense of, you really know. You're taking all my freedom. and Right, right. Okay. There's a difference. And unfortunately, in this generation, you have to be super clear about that. Because there are a lot of men that are like, you know very controlling controlling, dictating and you know that is not the type of relationship that you ever want to be in because you want to feel like you have a say so as well you don't want to be minimized so are you dating right now i am and obviously your man is 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 leading he's leading and um he also understands my position and i play a huge part in our household exactly and so we bounce our ideas off of one another and are you so, guys married or, or just no dating? we're not married we're just dating but we've been with one another for quite some time okay. so you might as well say <laughs> well, thank you so last thing i want to say is because i I've, I've noticed that some black women they always want to be in the same shoes as men okay if a man can do this but i feel as though my in my own opinion and what i feel like most men would agree with is a man like in every household, there has to be a leader, yes. and the man has to be the one leading because it's masculine, yeah. right? And okay, what do you think about some women that act masculine? Do you think that is the right way to go? Well, I'm a firm believer in not being judgmental okay. in the sense of if it works for you, it works for you. I'm not God. I can't okay. tell you. No, what I mean, I'm not mean like I'm not saying like me being a lesbian. I'm talking about masculine. No, no, no. no, no, no. What okay. I'm saying is in general, like okay, okay. I try not like if that's what they prefer in their life in their household. If that's what works for them. Who am I to tell them that's? Who am I to tell them that's? Well, the not question right? is like, do you think that can work? No. Being like having two masculine people in a in a two in a dominant household. People? Two dominant people. I could see it being problematic. I could see it being hard because you both want to dominate, you know? But um, But you think some black women do that, though? I feel like, unfortunately, because they've been left with no real, like, 
a lot of the times they're left being the head of the household. A lot of times they're left being the mom and the dad. A lot of the times they're left being the family provider for family members. So they automatically have a certain dominance about them because they are carrying all these dominant roles. So it's not, I wouldn't say it's something that's all the time intentional. I would say, unfortunately, the cards that life has dealt some women, it gives them a, a, a tough exterior, which can come off as dominant. I mean, you're just, point of all that. No, I'm just saying, you know, a lot okay. of them have to be single mothers. A lot of them have to be family protectors. They right. raise siblings and right. um, they're at work, they're at church, they're managers, they're bosses, and they still have to find time to, to find be time themselves. To be right. right. So okay. I can understand that too, you okay. know, because if you're wearing all those hats, yeah, that's it's true. like, who are you to tell me what I'm going to do now? when I've been taking care of this ship all along. So I'm not going to say it's positive or negative. I'm sorry, I'm a Libra. I'm yeah, very... Yeah, I get it, I get it. I try to understand both sides. I just know it wouldn't work for me, you know, but there's a reason, more than likely, as right. to why they're like that. Okay. Well, thank yeah. you very much. It's a pleasure. And thanks for your time. Appreciate it. You, do you think that black women are not out of... You think they're not out of order? That's, that's, that's the answer. That's the question. I don't think black women are out of order. I think that sometimes we do struggle with being submissive, <laughs> but I don't think we're out of order. Struggle? Because I'm a black woman, so I'm not gonna go against us black what? women. <laughs> and what? But I do say that there is an issue of some black women not wanting to be submissive. And it is because of that reason of the men aren't being leaders. But that's why I always say it depends on the type of man you're with. There are men that can lead, but don't put yourself in arms away by dating a bum or so a sin. Today, us black women have to do better with just realizing our worth and our value. Exactly. As well as black men need to do better <laughs> with realizing a black woman's worth and value. <laughs> That's it. Okay, but honestly speaking, what I'm going to say lastly before I let you go, sir, is I believe that. I believe that there are a lot of black women out here that are out of order, and I feel like. They need to listen more and pay attention to what's going on around them. If they are trying to find a real man that they can be with forever, though, that's my opinion. But if they keep, act, you know, having like attitude for no reason, or they feel like, oh, is they, if the man can do this, I can do this too, or they feel like they can be masculine in a relationship, because I believe that two masculine people cannot cannot lead, cannot um, cannot lead in a relationship. There has to be one leader. And I feel, and we all, we, we should all agree that a man should be the leader. Okay, yes, but I feel like men also should be submissive in a way as well. I think submissive? that... Submissive? How? I think that men should be submissive to a woman in, in his, his feelings. Because that is things that, whereas... <laughs> you laughing, yeah, but yeah. seriously. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think that it is where a man is the leader and... The but woman you, should I, be under the man, but I think that they both should be submissive to one another. Yeah, they, yes. should, they, should, be con they should be considerate yeah. of each other's feelings. Yeah, they should both be submissive to one another, especially if they're married. Exactly. It you shouldn't be the woman submissive to the man and the man not submissive to the woman. Even though he's the leader, he can't be submissive. But you do agree that a, a man has to lead? I do agree that a man should lead, yeah. yeah. Okay, but well, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, and we just want to get your opinion on the on the top because I've seen I don't know if you know this guy called Kevin Samuels yeah have you seen some of his videos mm -hmm. what do you think about about his videos be honest I mean like when I first started watching him some of the stuff he say he, he be right I hate to admit it but yeah, some to admit it? <laughs> it's just like he be so hard she's so I mean I guess some of it is the truth and people don't really like hearing the truth but sometimes some of the stuff he say is just like all right now but, <laughs> but you know, most of the women that actually that he talks to, they call him for advice, man. I love Kevin Samuels. You love Kevin Samuels. Y'all love Kevin Samuels. No, it's not about mean. loving. No, this is the thing about it, right? Okay, I'm gonna let you go after this one. The thing about Kevin Samuels is there are some things it says that I don't agree with, mm -hmm. but most of the time I feel like it's right in the sense that when he's trying to advise people, especially black women, if you listen closely. And because the thing about it, what people try to focus on is the way it responds yeah. 
to people's um, questions or try to advise people, but they're not trying to actually see the the. They're not trying to like weigh the value of the content that he's bringing out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? People just focus. Oh, okay, it's just it's just maybe harsh or it's rude, but if you people pay close attention to the message coming out you see that it makes sense yeah no it does and is is if people actually follow more of what it says you know what i'm saying not saying everything it says is correct but i feel as though some of the things it says make sense and i feel as though if women actually try to follow that things will be better within the black community man but i don't want to take much of your time but thank you for your time <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and that's just a in every for the day. Appreciate it though. Okay. Hello guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. All this mean a lot to me and to make my videos get out there more. The more it gets out there, the better it is for the channel. Thank you very much for the love and support. Leave suggestions for future videos in the comment section. I'll be glad to check them out like I always do. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.